Hi friends, welcome to World Explorer. AIMS has released notification for the nursing officer post NARSET exam. This is the first time AIMS is going to conduct this type of exam. And uh, this exam, they are going to prepare a merit list. And uh, out of this merit list, they are going to recruit the uh, nursing officers as per the vacancies arise all over the year. They have released some vacancies now, it even subject to change and uh, most important things we have to consider here is change in exam pattern now they have included general knowledge that is we have to get updated on current affairs and also the aptitude and uh, this consists of 20 marks and uh, remaining is 180 marks is subject so and uh, next thing is 80 percentage for females and 20 percentage for males they are going to give um, weight is and uh, they are uh, only 20 percent males are going to secure the job out of all the applicants and 80 percent female is going to get the job so what is NORSET? NORSET is nursing officer recruitment eligibility test this is for uh, level 7 nursing officer post salary structure is 9300 to 34800 and uh, grade pay is 4600 eligibility is JNM or BSc nursing but uh, for JNM nursing they are asking for two years of experience application fee is 1500 rupees for general and OBC and uh, for SCST it is 200 rupees and it's nil for PWD category exam pattern is of three hours it is a computer based test so you will be having MCQs you have to choose the one right option and there is even negative marking in this there is 180 questions related to the subject and 20 related to the gender knowledge and aptitude so the my aim of youtube channel is reach the poor and disadvantaged students who are serious to achieve the success in exam and mentoring the students free material and guidance to exam preparation expectation is only to reach more and more people no financial benefits subject areas to concentrate fundamentals of nursing psychology nutrition biochemistry pathology pharmacology genetics med surge pediatric mental health nursing community and midwifery or obg and uh, some other topics which is most essential nowadays is microbiology, infection control, patient safety, professionalism, values, ethics, nursing research, statistics and health informatics. So these are the areas which they may ask the questions even though these are included in the main core subjects. So these are the topics which I am going to give. These are the topics which you should concentrate more like BLS, basic life support, ACLS, advanced cardiac life support. ATLS advanced trauma life support, AVLS advanced ventilatory life support, PLS pediatric life support, PALS pediatric advanced life support, IMNCI integrated management of neonatal and childhood illnesses and uh, skill birth attendance, CHO committee health officers, biomedical waste management, fluid electrolyte balance again in this isotonic fluid, hypotonic fluid, hypertonic fluid, electrolyte imbalances like hyponatremia, hypernatremia, hypokalemia, hyperkalemia hypocalcemia, hypercalcemia. So such type of questions they may be asking and even the ECG changes related to hyperkalemia and hypokalemia and management of uh, electrolyte imbalances, ABG analysis, diabetics management again types of insulin, short acting, long acting and uh, menopause and menstrual cycle they may ask and even the hormones, uh, next thing is stress management and psychology concepts, sociology concepts even these are going to include. And uh, next topics which you have to concentrate is on law and acts, fluid electrolyte management, endocrine system. There is one damn sure question in the endocrine system and uh, refraction errors of eye like astigmatism and uh, pollution, air, water, noise pollutions, positions after surgery like uh, supine, prone, fallers, respiratory parameters. They may ask like uh, SpO2, oxygen concentration, or else uh, PCO2, or else CTCO2 and uh, such type of questions they may ask more. And next thing is cardiac parameters like cardiac output, heart rate and uh, ECG. So such type of questions they may be asking more and more. Next thing is normal lab values. Again in this sodium potassium chlorine is most asked. Next is ABG analysis related to the metabolic acidosis, metabolic alkalosis, respiratory acidosis, respiratory alkalosis and again compensation. Next thing is blood transfusion and complications. Again, they may ask like in blood transfusion, what are the late complications of blood transfusion, etc. Fractures, different types of fractures and the management, application of plaster cast, care of plaster cast patient, dialysis in this hemodialysis patient, care of hemodialysis, peritoneal dialysis and again kidney transplantation patient. So such type of questions they may be asking and also the diet patterns, etc. Lumbar puncture, they may ask which is the position of 
uh, to be uh, given for the lumbar puncture and what is the site of uh, lumbar pun uh, lumbar needle insertion and uh, how you are going to measure the iop and glaucoma cataract types of personalities like uh, type a type b type c schizoid personality paranoid personality etc disinfection sterilization differences and eyes in ppe nowadays covid is at uh, um, peak stage so they may ask many questions related to covid and again fall risk assessment pressure source patient safety pain management drugs and again in the drugs you can see like uh, emergency drugs such as adrenaline atropine and nitroglycerin such type of drugs they may be asking more and more and atherosclerosis and again drug calculation and even pediatric drug calculation myocardial infarction normal lab values vitamins and uh, again again adek like uh, uh, whatever uh, sources of vitamins etc range of motion exercises passive and active etc immunity passive immunity active immunity and what is the vaccination schedule all these questions they may be asking more and more next thing is tuberculosis hiv stroke emergency skills like uh, hemilch uh, helmets manure uh, or else uh, poisoning and uh, what is the management of poisoning patient mental status examination delirium dementia alzheimer's disease jaundice hepatitis road traffic accidents poisoning antidotes and again psychotherapies nursing research and statistics and most uh, concentrate on reasoning and aptitude because this is 20 marks if you are able to get 20 out of 20 in the reasoning and aptitude then uh, you are going to succeed and uh, nowadays they are asking general knowledge be updated with the current affairs so th this is a strategy how you can prepare for your exam if you like this video subscribe comment and share to your well wishers and uh, all the best for your exam don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel because uh, in this one month i will be uploading free classes uh, which is very much essential for the exam and i am con concentrating only on the high yield exams topics only not uh, like uh, unnecessary things so be uh, attentive and uh, next thing is have your own strategy this is just for guidance only and uh, be doing hard work don't forget to subscribe thank you